You don't know what you're talking about, and I do. So here's the situation. If you want to make progress in terms of getting big and strong, and that's all I'm concerned with. I'm not concerned with your abs. I'm not concerned with your hairstyle. I'm not concerned with your grooming. I'm not concerned with any of that peripheral bullshit. I'm concerned with getting you big and strong. And if you don't want to be big and strong, don't do this program. Because that's all this program is for, is getting big and strong. Okay? It's a strength program. Since it's a strength program, it also involves getting bigger. Because that's how muscles get stronger. They grow. They grow bigger. You have to grow if you're going to get stronger. That's all there is to it. And this program gets you big and strong. Now, if you've got other aims in mind you've got razor abs in mind you want to be 165 pound one of those little tan guys with the paint all over him and board shorts and sandals and shit and lay around on the beach and think that everybody's admiring your fucking wonderful physique and shit when they're really thinking to themselves what is wrong with that guy well you go do somebody else's program but this program works it works every single time it's tried, okay? It works for you if you're 18 and you're 5'11 and you're 160 pounds. It works for your mom who is 52 and is not as strong as she used to be and doesn't like it, has enough sense to know that she needs to be physically stronger than she is. Remember her being physically strong when she picked you up and whapped you on the ass when you needed it? She misses that, too. <laughs> she probably wants to do that again to you now, if you'll think about it. And as a result, she decides that she wants to get stronger, so this program works for her, too. It works for your granddad. It works for everybody that does it but it doesn't work if you put your own shit into it and do it your way okay because your way is wrong because if your way was right then you'd already be big and strong now wouldn't you the <clears throat> the problem I mean, the problem is that people ask ask questions without actually uh uh, knowing or having done the program, right? So, but but I think the if I remember right, the reason you wrote this um, is not only because they don't understand the program or haven't done the program, but also the the eating part of it, right? Because everybody, a, a big part of this was number one, the skinny guys who refuse to eat and right. gain weight, and then number two is the the other thing is that uh, people equate starting strength with gallon of milk a day starting strength, right. gain as much weight as possible, right. as quickly as possible. And neither of those things are true. No, right? no, they're not. Absolutely not. It. Uh, everybody tends to attribute to us shit that they want to blame us for. Exactly. Okay. And I think that's the, the, the I think that's the main problem here. For the people let's let's just talk about the people who actually gave this a, an honest shot. Um, you know, and, and maybe they gained sixty pounds and now they're thirty five percent body fat or some shit. Um, but what did they actually do? They didn't do the program. They didn't do they, the program. They skipped workouts. They skipped workouts. They ate too much. They, they <clears throat> ate too much sugar. Right. And and then they claimed on the internet that they did the program and right. it made them fat. Yeah. No, it didn't. Yeah. Or they were twenty percent body fat and you drank got a gallon, fat and drank a gallon of milk a day on your own, you know, and and gallon of milk a day. Let's just let's just say it, this: just, if you enjoy drinking a gallon of milk a day, it's not for you. 